Hello everyone. This video is about to the application of integration. In this video, we learn about the area under the simple curve and the area between two curves. So let's begin. Let us consider y is equal to f x be a function, and we have to find the area below the curve and x axis and the ordinates x is equal to a and x is equal to b we can think of area under the curve as composed of large number of very thin vertical strips consider an arbitrary strips of the height y and width dx then the area of this elementary strips da is equal to y into dx we can think the total area A of the region between x axis, ordinate x is equal to A, x is equal to B and the curve y is equal to fx. As a result of adding up the elementary areas of thin strips across the region, P, Q, R, S, P and this can be expressed A is equal to definite integration from A to B, D, A which is equal to integration from a to b y dx here y is equal to fx so we have right here integration from a to b fx dx so in order to find the area under the simple curve we use the formula a is equal to integration from a to b fx dx And the area A of the region bounded by the curve x is equal to g x, y axis and the line y is equal to c and y is equal to d is given as A is equal to c to d x dy which is equal to integration c to d where x is the function of y. So, we have write dy dy. If the position of the curve under consideration is below the x axis, the area bounded by the curve x axis and the ordinates come out to be negative. But it is only the numerical value of the area which is taken into consideration. Thus, if the area is negative, we take it absolute value. Let us see the various example to find the area under the curve. So, take the one example, the function y is equal to x, to find the area under this curve from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 4. Actually, this is the equation of the line passing through origin and the max 45 degree with the x axis. So, this looks like so, we have to find the area of the, uh, below this line from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 4. So, this is the required area. We have to find out here x is equal to 4 and here x is equal to 0. So, the required area A is from the definition of this a formula of this area under the curve integration from a to b fx dx so here a is 0 and the b is 4 fx is x dx so after integration we have x square by 2 from 0 to 4 so we have 4 square by 2 minus 0 square by 2. So, finally, we have 16 by 2 is equal to 8 square unit. In this second example, we have to find the area of the circle. The standard equation of the circle is given by x minus alpha whole square plus y minus beta whole square is equal to a square whose center is alpha beta and the radius is a. 
if we take alpha is equal to 0 and the beta is equal to 0 then the standard equation of circle is x square plus y square is equal to a square and this circle the center of the circle is at origin so the center of this circle is 0 0 origin and the radius is a whose graph is looks like since the graph of this circle is the symmetry about the x axis and the y axis so the area of the entire circle is equal to the four times of the area of the first quadrant therefore the required area of circle is a is equal to 0 to a y dx since this is the area of the first quadrant and the entire area is the four times of this area which gives the entire area of the circle therefore from the equation of the circle y is equal to we have root a square minus x square dx therefore a is equal to 4 times the integration of this function is x by 2 square root of a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sine inverse x by a Now putting the upper value, upper limit of this integration we have the 4 times of a by 2 root a square minus x means a square which is equal to 0 and the plus a square by 2 sine inverse a by a. So this is the value of the upper limit and the lower limit is simply 0. So so this is equal to 4 times this is 0 plus a square by 2 and the sine inverse 1 the sine inverse 1 is pi by 2 therefore we have the 4 into a square by 2 into pi by 2 and finally we have this 4 is cancelled out from this 4 and we have the pi a square which is the area of the circle. In third example, we have to find the area enclosed by the ellipse x, x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1. And this ellipse is also symmetric about the x axis and the y axis. Therefore, the area of the entire ellipse is equal to the 4 times of the area in the first quadrant. And the required area a is equal to 4 times of the area enclosed by the figure O A B O which may write as 4 times integration 0 to A Y DX we take the limit from 0 to A because the area is along the x axis so the lower limit is 0 and the upper limit we take the A so from the equation of ellipse we have Y is equal to B by A root a square minus x square therefore the a is equal to the 4 times from 0 to a b upon a root a square minus x square dx so the after integrate we may write the 4 times b by a within bracket x by 2 root a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sine inverse x upon a in the limit from 0 to a now putting the limits we have the 4 times b upon a a by 2 square root a square minus a square and the plus a square by 2 sine inverse a by a this is the upper limit then the value of the lower limit is 0 so simplify we get 4b upon a this first term is 0 plus a square by 2 sine inverse 1 and the sine inverse 1 is pi by 2 so we have is equal to 4b by a into a square by 2 into sine inverse 1 is pi by 2 
So after simplify, we have this 4 is cancelled out from this and the a square is cancelled out a. So we have finally pi a b. So the area of this ellipse is pi a b. Now using the same concept you are able to find the area enclosed by the ellipse x square by 16 plus y square by 9 is equal to 1 and the similar we can find the area of this ellipse second and the third also. In this section we find the area of the region bounded by the curve and the line. For this purpose we follow the following steps. The steps one is the fi first find the inter uh, intersection points of the curve and the line for the limits. In the second step we draw the proper graph of the curve and the line. In third step we identify which area is below to the curve and which area is below to the line. So let's see the next example. So in this example we have to find the area bounded by the curve y square is equal to x and the lines x is equal to 1, x is equal to 4 and the x axis in the first quadrant. So the given curve is the curve of parabola and the x is equal to 1 and the x is equal to 4 is the vertical lines. So in this graph, this, equa uh, this is the curve of y square is equal to x, which may write as y is equal to root x. And this is the vertical line x is equal to 1 and the x is equal to 4. And we have to find the green shaded area. And this area is totally uh, below the parabola, this curve this, below this parabola. And the intersection point is A is if we take x is equal to 1, so we have the 1, 1 and the b, the 4, 4 and 2. This point is b. So the our limit is 1, 2, 4. Since the uh, area is along the x-axis, so we take the only ordina ordinates 1 and uh, 1 for the lower limit and the 4 is for the upper limit. So the required area A is equal to the limit uh, integration from 1 to 4 y dx and here, here y is root x dx therefore the integration of root x is x power 3 by 2 upon 3 by 2 over 1 4 so we may write here 2 by 3 4 power 3 by 2 minus 1 power 3 by 2 and this is equal to 2 by 3 and this is 8 minus 1 which is equal to 2 by 3 into 7 so finally we have the 14 by 3 square unit in example 5 we have to find the we have to find the area of the region bounded by the curve y is equal to x square and the line y is equal to 4. Since the given curve x square is equal to y is the equation of parabola symmetric about the y axis only. Therefore, the required area of this region A O B A is 2 times the area of O B N O. Therefore, the required area A is equal to 2 times the area of the region O, B, N, O and the area is along the y axis so we use the formula A is equal to from 0 to 4 x dy and x is equal to root y dy therefore the integration of this function is y power 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 from 0 to 4 which is equal to 4 by 3 into 8 which gets 32 32 by 3 square unit in example 6 find the area of the region 
in the first quadrant enclosed by the x axis the line x is equal to root 3y and the circle x square plus y square is equal to 4. In this question the given curve is a equation of circle so x square plus y square is equal to 4 which center is 0 0 and the radius is 2. So let this is the equation 1 and the line is y is equal to 1 upon root 3x. This is the second equation. So in the first step we have to find the intersection of the circle and the line. By putting the value of y is equal to 1 upon root 3x in the equation 1. So we have the x square plus 1 by root 3 x whole square is equal to 4. So we have x square plus 1 upon 3 x square is equal to 4. So after simplify we get x is equal to plus minus root 3 and the corresponding the value of y is plus minus 1. So the points are root 3 1 and root 3 minus root 3 minus 1 whose graph is given in this figure and the, we have to find the area of the shaded region we have to find the combined yellow shaded region area and the red shaded region area yellow shaded area is exactly below the line and the red shaded area is exactly below the circle Therefore, the required area A is equal to the integration from 0 to root 3 line dx plus the integration from root 3 to 2 circle dx. In the first integration, we integrate the line from 0 to root 3 because the yellow region is just below the line and the from the root 3 to 2 is just uh, below the circle. So, we integrate circle in the second integration. So from line we have the y is equal to 1 upon root 3x dx plus and the from circle from the equation of circle y is equal to root 4 minus x square dx. So let a is equal to a1 plus a2 and we in find a1 a2 separately so a1 is equal to integration from 0 to root 3 1 upon root 3 x dx after integration we have 1 upon root 3 x square by 2 from 0 to root 3 now putting the upper limit we have 1 upon root 3 root 3 square means 3 by 2 and the minus 0 so the area a1 is equal to 3 upon 2 root 3 so this is 1 so take this is 1 and a2 is equal to integration from root 3 to 2 square root 4 minus x square dx and we know the integration of this function is x by 2 root 4 minus x square plus a square means 4 upon 2 sin inverse x upon a a means 2 and the limit root 3 to 2 now putting the upper limit first means 2 by 2 root 4 minus 2 square means 4 plus 4 by 2 means 2 sin inverse 2 by 2 this is the upper limit minus lower limit is root 3 by 2 root 4 minus root 3 square means 3 plus 2 sin inverse root 3 by 2 therefore we have the first this term is 0 plus 2 sin inverse 2 by 2 is sin inverse 1 minus 
root 3 by 2 root 4 minus 3 is 1 plus 2 sine inverse root 3 by 2 is is pi by 3 now again simplify we have 2 into pi by 2 minus root 3 by 2 minus 2 pi by 3 so finally we have pi by 3 minus root 3 by 2 so this is the equation 2 now adding a1 and a2 we find the required area therefore the required area a is equal to a1 plus a2 now putting the value of a1 and a2 we have 3 upon 2 root 3 plus pi by 3 minus root 3 by 2 so we write here root 3 by 2 plus pi by 3 minus root 3 by 2 which is equal to pi by 3 square units In this example, we have to find the area of the smaller part of the circle x square plus y square is equal to a square cut off by the line x is equal to a upon root 2. Since the given curve is a circle x square plus y square is equal to a square whose center is 0, 0 and the radius is a. And the line x is equal to a upon root 2 is a line vertical line which is parallel to the y axis. Since a upon root 2 is uh, greater than a by 2, therefore the line a upon root 2 is far from the line a upon 2 which makes a smaller part. So let me show you the graph of this uh, bounded area by the circle and the line x is equal to a upon root 2. In this graph, this the equation of this line is a by 2. Therefore, the equation of the line x is equal to a by root 2 is the far from the line a by 2. So, the green shaded area is the required area. We have to find the area. Therefore, the required area is equal to the area a b area bounded by the region a b d a since this uh, green shaded area is the symmetry about the x axis so we have to find the two times the area a b c a therefore the required area a is equal to two times integration from a upon root 2 to a y dx and from the given circle x square plus y square is equal to a square therefore y square is equal to a square minus x square we take the positive sign so y is equal to square root of a square minus x square therefore we have a is equal to 2 times integration from a upon root 2 to a root a square minus x square dx After integration, we have the 2 times x upon 2 root a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sine inverse x upon a. The integration from a by root 2 to a. Now, putting the upper limit, we have the 2 a upon 2 root a square minus a square plus a square by 2 sine inverse a upon a minus putting the lower limit a upon root 2 by 2 root a square minus x square means a square by 2 plus a square by 2 sine inverse a upon root 2 by a So simplify we have that this uh, a square minus a square is 0 and the sine inverse a upon a is 1. 
therefore a is equal to 2 times a square by 2 sin inverse 1 minus a upon 2 root 2 root 2 a square minus a square upon 2 plus a square by 2 sin inverse 1 upon root 2 so we have a is equal to 2 a square by 2 sin inverse 1 is pi by 2 minus a upon 2 root 2 into a upon root 2 minus a square by 2 sin inverse 1 by root 2 is pi by 4 so we have a is equal to 2 times pi a square by 4 minus a square upon 2 into root 2 into root 2 is 2 so we have a square upon 4 minus pi a square by 8 now open the bracket so we have pi a square by 2 minus a square by 2 minus pi a square by 4 now combining these two terms we have pi a square by 4 minus a square by 2 so take common a square by 2 so we have pi by 2 minus 1 so this is the final answer in example 8 find the area of the region bounded by the parabola y is equal to x square and the y is equal to mod x the graph of this parabola and the y is equal to mod x is looks like and we have to find the area of the red red region let this point be a this point be o and this point be b so first we find the intersection of these two curve for this the curve y is equal to x square and the line y is equal to mod x if x is positive therefore the line would be x is uh, y is equal to x Therefore, we find the intersection of y is equal to x square and the line y is equal to x. This intersection gives the intersection in the first quadrant. So, the putting the value of y is equal to x in this parabola. So, we have x is equal to x square. So, x minus x square is equal to 0. So, x take common 1 minus x is equal to 0. So, we have x is equal to 0 and the x is equal to 1 if x is equal to 0 so y is equal to 0 and if x is equal to 1 the putting the value of 1 in any curve we have the y is equal to 1 so the point of intersection is 1 1 so the point a would be the 1 1 similarly for x is negative then y is equal to minus x so the y is equal to minus x this represents the line y is equal to minus x and this line is y is equal to plus x so putting the value of y is equal to minus x in this parabola so we have minus x is equal to x square so minus x minus x square is equal to 0 so minus x uh, take outside so 1 plus x is equal to 0 so we have x is equal to 0 or x plus 1 is equal to 0 therefore we have x is equal to 0 and x is equal to minus 1 so putting the value of this x is equal to minus 1 in this parabola therefore we have y is equal to minus 1 square which is equal to 1 so the point b would be the minus 1 plus 1 since the red sided area is the symmetry about the y axis so the required area would be the two times of the area in the first quadrant since the required area is just below the line so we have the a is equal to the two times of the area 
from 0 to 1 of the line dx but we don't have the area below the parabola so we, so we subtract the area below the parabola so we write here 0 to 1 p dx so we write the value of y from line here and the value of y from the parabola so we have a is equal to 2 times 0 to 1 y is equal to x dx from the line and the, from the parabola 0 to 1 y is equal to x square dx which is equal to 2 times integration x square by 2 minus x cube by 3 from 0 to 1 we can write here so after simplify we have to putting the well upper limit so 1 square is 1 by 2 minus 1 cube is 1 by 3 and the lower limit is 0 which is equal to 1 by 3 square unit Example 9 is find the area bounded by the curve x square is equal to 4y and the line x is equal to 4y minus 2. Here curve is the parabola so we may write here y is equal to x square by 4 and the equation of line may be written as y is equal to x by 4 plus 1 by 2. Let the point be A, this be O and this point B, B. Now first find the intersection of these two curves, the parabola and the line. So putting the value of y from the line in this parabola, so we have the x by 4 plus 1 by 2 is equal to x square by 4. Therefore x plus 2 is equal to x square and we write here the x square minus x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now factorize we have x minus 2 into x plus 1 is equal to 0. So if x minus 2 is equal to 0 we have x is equal to 2 and if x plus 1 is equal to 0 therefore x is equal to minus 1. So putting the value of x is equal to 2 in this parabola we find the value of y. So if x is equal to 2, therefore y is equal to 2 square by 4 is equal to 1. Therefore the one point B 2 1. And if x is equal to minus 1, therefore y is equal to minus 1 square by 4 which is equal to 1 by 4. Therefore the second point B would be minus 1 1 by 4. And then in the graph we can easily see that this a point is 2 1 and the b is minus 1 1 by 4. Therefore we have to find the area bounded by the parabola and the line is. The green shaded area is the required area which we have to find. So this area is exactly below the line from b to a. So we integrate the line from b to a so so we have a is equal to the integration from minus 1 to 2 the integration of the line dx but we don't need the area below this parabola so we subtract the area so we write here minus 1 to 2 p dx this may written as minus 1 to 2 y dx y is from the line and the minus integration from 1 minus 1 to 2 y dx at this y is from the parabola therefore this is equal to minus 1 to 2 x by 4 plus 1 by 2 dx and minus integration minus 1 to 2 x square by 4 dx this may write as 1 by 4 integration minus 1 to 2 x plus 2 dx and the minus integration from minus 1 to 2 
x squared dx which is equal to 1 by 4 x square by 2 plus 2x limit from minus 1 to 2 minus 1 by 4 x cube by 3 limit from minus 1 to 2 now putting the upper limit and the lower limit we have the 1 by 4 x square means 2 square by 2 plus 2 into 2 in the minus minus 1 square by 2 plus 2 into minus 1 minus 1 by 4 2 cube by 3 minus minus 1 cube by 3 so we have a is equal to 1 by 4 4 by 2 plus 4 and minus 1 by 2 minus 2 minus 1 by 4 into 1 by 3 1 by 3 take outside so here 8 minus 1 cube my, uh, and minus minus plus so we write 8 plus 1 so this is equal to 1 by 4 the 4 by 2 is 2 plus 4 is 6 and minus this is minus 3 by 2 and minus 1 by 12 into 9 so this is equal to 15 by 8 and minus 3 by 4 after simplify we have 9 by 8 the square unit. So this is the final answer.